Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well and you've had a great week. I sure do miss being able to see each and every one of you in class every day, but I am here to read to you. Our question this week is, what are the characteristics of trees? And on Monday, you listened to a story about growing trees. Um, the little girl went and picked out a tree after she learned about um, trees visiting the forest. So today, Miss Hamilton is going to read you a nonfiction book about the parts of the trees. This is an easy book that I think you might be able to read along with me. After you hear it one time, you may be able to go back and watch the video again and read it by yourself. This book is called Parts of a Tree. Parts of a Tree. So we're gonna learn about what parts a tree has. Just like you have parts of your body, like your arms and your legs, a tree also has different parts. Parts of a tree. Here is the seed. I see the seed. Actually, Miss Hamilton sees three seeds. Can you count them with me? One, two, three. And I bet if we planted each one of these seeds and then we gave it some water and we gave it some sunshine, that these three seeds would grow into three beautiful trees. Here is the root. I see the root. Now normally we don't see the roots of trees because the roots grow underground. The roots are kind of like the feet for the tree and they help the tree to stand up tall. The roots dig into the ground and make a nice stable base for the tree to grow. Now, I know we had some really bad weather come through Chattanooga and lots of trees got knocked down. You might have been able to see some roots of the trees when the trees got knocked down. Here is the trunk. I see the trunk. The trunk of the tree is kind of like the body and it stands tall. Remember the roots are holding the tree in the ground and the trunk stands nice and tall. The trunk is covered with bark. Here is the branch. I see the branch. Now, when you have the tree grow up in the trunk, then branches start to grow off of the trunk of the tree. The branches are kind of like the arms of the tree and they reach out, they go up, they go out to the side, and some branches even kind of point down a little bit. You can see this branch goes, goes all the way across the picture. Here is the leaf. I see the leaf. There are actually lots of leaves on this tree, too many for us to count. If you go outside and you look at any tree, you'll see lots of new leaves coming. The leaves grow green in the springtime, and then when it's fall, you'll see some of the leaves turn to red and orange and beautiful colors before they fall off the tree. But right now, outside, it's springtime, so most of our trees are starting to look like this tree in the picture. Some of the trees even have flowers on them. Here is the fruit. I see the fruit. If you look close, you see some fruit. And I'm not real sure exactly what kind of fruit is growing on this tree. Kind of looks like maybe it's a pomegranate, but I'm not real sure. Some trees grow fruit, like apple trees. Other trees do not grow fruit or they might grow a nut, like an acorn, like an oak tree grows an acorn. But not all trees will grow fruit. And that's the end of our story. So let's think about what we saw. What were the parts of the tree? I remember that we saw something small that we would plant that would become a tree if we gave it sunshine and water. Do you remember what that was called? Let's see if I can go back and find it. Oh, it's called a seed. 
I also remember the part of the tree that was under the ground that helped hold the tree in its spot. Do you remember what that was called? Miss Hamilton said it's kind of like your feet. Oh, that's the roots of the tree. Then out of the roots, go straight up tall, was the body of the tree. Do you remember what it was called? Yeah, that's right. It's called the trunk, and the trunk is co covered with bark. Then we talked about something that grows off the trunk. And Miss Hamilton said it's kind of like your arms. It can go up. They can go to the side. Sometimes they point a little bit down. Trees have more than one of these. Do you remember what that was called? Yes, it's called a branch. And on the branches grows the leaves. And sometimes also off of those branches grow flowers or grow fruit. So now you guys know the parts of the tree. Maybe you can get a piece of paper and you can try to draw a tree with all of the parts that you remember from the story. I would love to see your pictures after you draw them, so you can send them to me if you would like. Bye!